Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Podcast. Today, April 14, year 2024, the title of our Open Heavens today is In One Accord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you, we honor you, and we exalt you for the privilege to be here today. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that even as we go through your word, Father, speak to us. Open our hearts and reveal your mind to us in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, we are freed. Amen. So, our memory verse is taken from Psalm 133, verse 1, and it reads, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And a Bible text is taken from Psalm 133, from verse 1 to 3. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Ammon, and as the dew that descended and upon the mountains of zion for there the lord commanded the blessings even life forevermore amen may the lord bless the reading of his word in the name of jesus amen so let us go to into the open heavens let us go into the open heavens as written by a father in the lord god loves unity wherever he finds people uniting in his name it will show up. You can see a good example of this in Second Chronicles chapter five, verse thirteen, and it reads: "It came even to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music, and praised the Lord, saying." For he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. That then, that then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. In the above passage, as the trumpeters, singers, and musicians all sang as one, God's presence came down like a cloud and filled the temple. God loves it when children worship him in one accord. This is why Jesus Christ said in Matthew 18 verse 20, where two or three people are gathered in my name, there will I be. At the upper room in Acts 2, the Bible says that when the people were in one accord, the Holy Spirit filled the room with a sound like a mighty rushing wind. Wherever believers are gathered in unity, God will show up in his glory. Today's Bible reading tells us that when brethren come together in unity, it is like the anointing oil that was poured on Aaron's head, which went all the way down to his feet do you know what that means it means that it is only when god's people are united that the anointing can flow amongst them without unity the corporate anointing will not flow the reason many churches are not experiencing the power of god amongst them is that they are not united where there is gossip strife and backbiting don't expect the power of god to flow these vices are not of God, and so God cannot be where they exist. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 says that we are all different parts of one body. If the hand is envious of the eyes and the leg is keeping malice with the head, how can the body function effectively? When we become united in a local assembly and in the body of Christ as a whole, we will see great miracles amongst us that we amaze the whole world. If you are a pastor reading this now, you should ensure that all form of strife amongst workers or members of your local assembly are resolved today. Hallelujah. Bless God for the word that was that is sent through our Father in the Lord today. It's a great call. And I think personally, this has been a very, very dear topic in my heart it's a dear topic in my heart because i've noticed that 
in the body of Christ, there is this strife, there is envy, and we don't have unity. Somebody from the CNS Church will see somebody from the Pentecostal as something else, and somebody from the Baptist will see the uh, what is it called? Let's say any Pentecostal as another thing, and even Pentecostals among Pentecostals. Yes, so many issues you hear so many things and i say that the bible said that a house divided against itself cannot stand and it has been one of my passion that i want to see a day where the churches in nigeria the churches all over the world are able to come together in unity to fight against the kingdom of darkness because that is what we truly need that is what will give us power that is what gives us the authority. Those days when you you hear of our fathers of faith, you see the unity in 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 the in the um in the church. Like even in in fact, yeah, thank God for the for this. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. Now let's look at the case of the Holy Church. The Holy Church is well known for the unity amongst the church. In the early church, the Bible said that they will come together to pray, they break bread together. When they spoke about, let us give to the poor, everybody was committed to it. As long as you have, they give to the poor. When they say, let's do this, they give to it. There is this unity such that if you look at the churches that letters were written to, in the New Testament by the Apostle Paul. There are churches in provinces that were wide and even bigger than countries today. But he was able to rise to those places because there is this unity amongst all of them and there was nothing like, oh, this church is for Paul. Like when the um, followers were fighting you know, for Apollos and for Paul. And Paul said, there is nothing like and for Apollo or and for Paul. It is just God that brings forth the increase. So whatever increase you see is not because it is Apollo or it is because it is Paul. It is God that brings the increase. So today, so by open heavens is encouraging us. Are you in the church? And you have this strife. You have this anger in your heart. So many people are going to the church, but they have strife. They have anger. They are so angry. They are angry at their pastors. They are angry at this person. They are angry at that person. And I've always said it. Going to church that you are not happy. It's as good as you have gone there to just mark attendance and waste your time. So it is better for us to resolve the differences in our heart and just focus on God. And also it is better for you sometimes to just call the person talk to the person who I felt but and sometimes you realize that those things that were causing anger that caused pain that caused this strife are things that are probably misunderstandings you or maybe probably misunderstood the other person so today I'm encouraging us according to the word from our father and the Lord today that we should put away every strife and anger and if you are a pastor I want to encourage pastors that are listening, I have discovered that most of the times, pastors enable some of these behaviors in the church. When people come to you and they tell you something about somebody, don't take their word for it. Let the Holy Spirit be your angel and your guide. Don't allow people to sow seeds of discord in your heart about the members of your church. Because many times, some of these people coming to you to tell your manner of things are only saying it because they want to gain a particular position in your heart. So it is better that as a man of God, as a pastor, you don't allow an environment around you where gossip can thrive. As long as you don't allow gossip to thrive around you, you will discover that you have this plain art and love for every of your members equally without judgment and without fear and favor and i pray that for every pastors that listening to today's episode and even for all of us as a whole that the lord will grant us wisdom to be able to maintain unity in his body and not be the cause of division in the body of christ so our bible in one year is taken from first king chapter 16 to 18 and our hymn for today is in 30. Our action point for today 
Call a member of your local assembly and say, I love you with the love of Christ. God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you for listening to today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and also share to a friend and share to your family members the word of God for today. And remember, if you have not subscribed to this podcast, kindly subscribe to this podcast and also follow us on all our social media handles. Thank you for listening. God bless you and have a blessed day. Bye.